Let's look at some ways we can use the scroll wheel on our mouse with Pro Tools. And in this case, we'll be using Pro Tools 11. So everyone should already know the basics of a scroll wheel. We can, of course, scroll up and down by just scrolling. Of course, it'll work the same on our mix page if our tracks are large enough. But let's add a modifier key to that. So first we'll hold down shift and now we'll scroll. And now you can see we're scrolling horizontally or across. We release shift and of course we go back to scrolling up and down or vertically. So hold down shift, we can scroll across. Same thing for our mix page, shift, and then we can scroll across. And of course the same applies to like our clip bins and things like that. Hold down shift and scroll across. So the next tip would be hold down alt and shift and now when we scroll we zoom in and out vertically on the audio. So this is not changing the volume, the level. This is just zooming in and out of the audio. And that's the same as using this button up here. So don't confuse this with increasing the level. Alt, shift, there we go. And we can do the same thing with MIDI except this time we'll hold alt, shift, and control. And now we zoom in and out on our MIDI. Now I need to point out that in the manual right now it says hold down alt and start and scroll but as you can see that does not work. Maybe that works on your system but it's not working on mine. So for mine it's alt shift control and there we go. So now moving on to another modifier key and this time we'll just hold down alt. We hold down alt and now you can see we are zooming in or out which would be the same as using these buttons up here. So again, that's Alt, and then just scroll. So now moving back to our MIDI track. So we already know we can hold Alt. We can horizontally scroll out. We can hold Alt, Shift, zoom in and out of our audio. Alt, Shift, Control, zoom in and out on our MIDI. And now we can hold down Control, Start, Alt and scroll within our MIDI window. So that would be the same as using these little arrows to scroll. So control, start, alt. You can scroll just like that. Hold down shift, scroll over, control, start, alt. Alt, shift, control. There you go. And it doesn't matter what sequence you're using to hold down these buttons. If I say Alt, Shift, Control, it's the same as Control, Shift, Alt. It's the same exact thing. So don't get hung up on what exactly I'm saying. Just listen to the actual keys. You can see I have some clip gain on this track. So we can nudge this clip gain up or down. So first I'll select the track I want to adjust the clip gain on. And I'll hold Start and Shift. And then I'll start to scroll. Now we're adjusting the clip gain. So we'll scroll over to another track here, select that, and you'll see the clip gain right now is minus 1.2. So start and shift. I'll scroll up and now check the clip gain is plus 7.8. So again, don't confuse just the display for what your waveform looks like. So I could hold alt and shift and I could bring that way down, but our clip gain is still at plus 7.8. So to change that, we hold Start and Shift, and that will adjust the clip gain. Alt, Shift will adjust our zoom in on the audio. And just another tip, if you don't have your clip gain line here, you can right click right on one of these clip gain buttons and choose the clip gain line from here. So Show Clip Gain Line. And you can also adjust this clip gain line by just clicking and dragging up and down. So that's an option as well. You can use the scroll wheel in numerical input fields. So for instance, I could click in my transport, just use my scroll wheel, and I'll press enter. And that works on a bunch of different input fields in Pro Tools. And just an extra tip, you can actually click and hold and adjust that way as well. So scroll back here, let's zoom out a bit. Now I'll click and hold and you can see my timeline adjusting there. So that's about it, but I'll mention a couple more things. Let's open a plugin. So here's Boom. Boom comes with Pro Tools. So I'll click on a knob that should activate 
our scroll wheel. So now I can just hover over a knob and start scrolling and making adjustments on any of these knobs. I don't have to re-click. Just hover and start adjusting. I can adjust switches, lots of different parameters. We'll open up Expand 2 and do the same thing in here. So if I just start scrolling, it's not working, click on the knob, and now I scroll to adjust right from my scroll wheel. All kind of different parameters you can adjust just by hovering over the correct area and using your scroll wheel. Now not every plugin works this way, so here's 11. This is the paid version of 11, by the way, software version. And I'll click and drag and then hover and you can see my scroll wheel does not work in this plugin. So not every plugin will respond the same way, but many do. So here's a third party plugin from IK Multimedia. It's a equalizer. Just hover over a knob, start to scrolling, and you see we're making adjustments. So there you go. There are some Pro Tools quick tips for using the scroll knob and some keyboard modifiers within Pro Tools to hopefully speed up your workflow.